Welcome back to KCTV English News. I'm Angel Kim. The National Assembly will conduct a parliamentary audit of Jeju Island and the Jeju Provincial Police Agency. As a precautionary measure for COVID-19, the National Assembly's Public Administration and Security Committee will conduct the parliamentary audit at the National Assembly rather than on site at Jeju Island. The audit date has been set for the 20th for Jeju Island and the 23rd for the Jeju Provincial Police Agency. The parliamentary audit is expected to cover the province's main agendas, including the revision of the April 3rd Special Act and the consolidation of municipal police forces. A national data analysis has shown that Jeju Island's police dispatches and arrival times following a 112 distress call is about one minute longer than the national average. According to the data received by Representative Han Byung Do of the National Assembly's Public Administration and Security Committee, the average 112 dispatch time for 18 district police agencies across the country was 5 minutes and 5 seconds. Among them, the Jeju Police Agency averaged 6 minutes and 1 second, which is 1 minute and 40 seconds slower than the Seoul Metropolitan Police Agency, which has the fastest times in the country. Only three other district police agencies, Gangwon-do Province, Sejong City, and Chungcheong-nam-do Province, showed a response period that was longer than six minutes. Jeju City will conduct a study of traffic volume on major roads on the 15th and 16th. 270 investigators will conduct the 24-hour study on 70 different routes, including Pyeongharo and Yeonbuk-no, starting at 7 p.m. on the 15th. The results from the study will be used in future road maintenance plans. Meanwhile, last year's study showed that the Pyeongwaro section in front of the Jeju Tourism University had the highest amount of traffic at 54,000 vehicles per day. The Jeju Tourism Organization is carrying out a project to discover and support tourism startups that can cope with COVID-19 related changes in the tourism market. Participants in the project will be selected through a public contest and will receive up to 50 million won in prize money, as well as marketing support. The theme of the contest is innovative tourism businesses based in Jeju. Businesses that have been in operation for under seven years are eligible to apply. The application period is from the 12th to the 19th. Thank you for joining us today at KCTV English News. Please follow us on YouTube at KCTV E-News Jeju and on KCTV's VOD service. Have a great evening.